How do you apply artificial intelligence and machine learning to engineering simulation? Let's talk about Altair's vision next. Okay, so I think we all know, the, well, at least the concept of how AI and machine learning can be applied to the internet of things. So the idea there is that you're collecting a lot of data from sensor readings off of physical products in the field. You collect that in the cloud or some other IoT platform, and then you apply machine learning or uh, artificial intelligence, AI, to that, and you can identify anomalies. You can identify what are the, uh, what are the predictors of an impending product failure. So you can get into predictive maintenance. So you can minimize downtime. Uh, so that's, that's kind of this, you know, that's probably the most widely applied concept of machine learning and AI in product development today. Uh, well, at the Altair Technology Conference, uh, they actually announced a, kind of a new application that I have not heard before, but makes a ton of sense. The idea is that, you know, a lot of engineering organizations, a lot of engineering departments have been running simulations for years. And that is a big, rich data set uh, that can be used here. The other area, actually, that fits there is uh, test data. You know, companies have been going through physical verification and validation of products, uh, whether it's mechanical, electrical, systems level, integration, all that type of stuff. They've been doing that for years as well, and they have this large amount of data that exists there. And then, of course, IoT is another source of predicting failures and that, that type of thing. So there are three data sets uh, that you can act upon. So the idea with KnowledgeWorks, which is um, Altair's solution for machine learning and, and AI in this space, is to actually apply that to simulation results. So take all these past simulations that you've conducted let machine learning kind of uh, drill down uh, and dig deep and understand the input variables, uh, the design variables, and the outcomes. Uh, and not just good simulation runs, like the ones where you had products succeed and move on to testing, physical testing, but apply them to all those failures in the past as well. Um, and then it starts to learn Okay, where are you more likely to have a simulation that fails, right? And when you, when you have that kind of machine learning model or AI-based model, you can predict failures in simulations far faster than actually running the simulation, right? So you gain insight into, okay, the whether or not the simulation I'm about to run, is it going to succeed or not? But more importantly, I mean, that's obviously there's value in that, but also there's a lot of value in kind of understanding, oh, the design space for an application. Uh, because you're using machine learning and AI, you can kind of get a map of what are the design variables uh, against performance uh, and what works and what doesn't. And as a matter of fact, there were a number of uh, customers that stood up and not only talked about the time savings that they realized out of applying Altair's knowledge works to these kind of use cases, um, but also highlighting or sharing that some of the results, you know, in, in some cases a weight loss for a product, weight reduction, lightweighting use case, um, was dramatically lower than the best they had ever achieved with their products. And actually that was Maxion Wheels uh, that presented there. And they, the machine learning application did better than the best record they had ever achieved, um, ever, <laughs> manually. So that, you know, there's opportunity for innovation as well. There was a lot of focus on uh, simulation, but I find it interesting as well that there's this, um, continuity from sim applying this to simulation results to test data and then IOT data. You know, it's, this is a, a continuous spectrum from one to another. And as a matter of fact, 
the lines are blurring between each of those, by the way, as we progress and mature in these areas. But you have data that kind of spans this continuum from simulation all the way out to sensor data in an IoT platform. And applying machine learning and AI to that becomes pretty compelling because now you have an even richer lake of data, set of data, continuity, con continuum of data that you can apply this to. And you can get more insights. You can do things faster. So obviously this is an emerging field. Altair is the first company that I've heard of actually applying machine learning in this way to look at performance. Uh, and I think it's pretty unique and innovative and it's something to watch, especially if you want to get more insight into the performance of your products. So that's it. Take care. Talk soon.